In this video, we're going to take a look at the commutative, associative, and distributive properties. I want to start by writing in general what's going on with each of those properties, and then we'll see if we can't identify the property that's going on in these particular cases. So, we start with the commutative property, and the commutative property looks like this. We have A plus B is equal to B plus A, okay? And that applies to addition, or we can have A times B, and that's equal to B times A. <clears throat> in other words, we can add or multiply in any order, and we're okay. We come up with the same thing. And if we look at that word commutative, right there, commute, to commute, if you know someone that commutes, well, they go or they move to go to work oftentimes. People commute to work. So to commute is to move, and that's what's happening here. The numbers, or in this case variables, are moving, and we can do that for addition and multiplication. So that's the commutative property. The associative property deals with parentheses. So for that, we might have something like this. A plus B plus C, if we put those two in parentheses, that's equal to A plus B plus C, and we put those two in parentheses. Remember, the order of operations says that we have to do what's in parentheses first. So we can do this first, and then add the C, or we can do this first, and then add the A, and we'll come up with the same answer. That also applies to multiplication. So if we have A times B times C, where we have the A and the B in parentheses, that is equal to A times B times C, where the B and C are in parentheses. Okay? And a way that you can remember that is, what's another name for parentheses? Well, grouping symbols. And if we associate, if we associate with people, we hang out in a group with them. So grouping symbols and the associative property go together. Finally, our last property here is the distributive property. And I sometimes refer to this as our good friend because we use the distributive property a lot. Um, to get rid of parentheses typically so that we can get at what's inside there and um, work with that. Uh, you see it lots going on. And that is simply that we can take whatever's on the outside here. We've got that multiplication going on. A times the B plus C. And what we can do is multiply that which is sitting on the outside, by each thing which is inside the parentheses. So that's equal to A times B plus A times C. That is the distributive property. So let's take a look at these examples and see if we can identify the property that's going on in each case. All right, let's start right here. Well, what's going on here? We've got 2 being multiplied by... 5 plus 9. Well, that multiplication, and then over here we have 2 times 5 and 2 plus 9. Well, what happened? 2 is being multiplied by 5, 2 is being multiplied by 9. Which property is that? Hey, right there it is. This is an example of the distributive property. Okay. Let's take a look at this next one. Well, in this one, notice what we have here we have, well, what's different? We've got 2, 4, 10, 2, 4, 10, but the difference is the parentheses. Which property deals with parentheses? The associative property, and if we want to be very specific, it's properly named the associative property of multiplication, because that's the operation that's going on. So the associative property of multiplication. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Well, what's the difference between the two sides of our equal sign? On the left side, we have 2 times 5. On the right, we have 5 times 2. Well, the difference is the order 
the order has been changed, hey, that looks a lot like this one right here, which is an example of the commutative property. And we're multiplying, so it would be the commutative property of multiplication. And again, to commute is to move. So we have those numbers moving around, and that's the commutative property of multiplication. All right, then this one. Well, what's the, the difference between what's on the left and what's on the right? We've got 3 plus 4 over there, 4 plus 3. Hey, they're just moved around again. So another example of the commutative property. And this time, what's the operation? Well, we're adding, so that's of addition. Commutative property of addition. And finally, over here, well, let's see what the difference is. We have 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5. The order is the same. Hey, what's different? The grouping symbols. To group, to hang out in a group, is to associate with people. And that's what we've got going here, the associative property. And we're adding, so it's the associative property of addition. Now, don't get caught up and don't assume that it's always going to be the associative property if we have parentheses. Because, let me show you an example where it could be the commutative property, but we have parentheses. Let's take a look at this one right here. So let's say that we have 2 plus, in parentheses, Let's say we have 1 plus 7 right there. And I'm going to say that that's equal to 1 plus 7 plus 2. Well, notice we have grouping symbols, but what has changed from the left to the right? Well, we have this thing right here, which was second. Now it's first. So the property this would be, it would be an example of the commutative property. So don't fall into the trap that, oh, there's parentheses, so it must be associative. Not necessarily true. Be very careful paying attention to what exactly is changed and what's going on. Okay? Again, the commutative property right here deals with order and moving. To commute is to move, and that's what's changing. The associative property deals with grouping symbols. If you associate, you hang out in a group. And finally, the distributive property, our good friend, allows us to get rid of parentheses because we take whatever's being multiplied on the outside, multiply it by each piece that's on the inside, and off we go. Parentheses are gone. Remember that the associative and commutative properties apply to addition and multiplication because order doesn't matter. It can't apply to subtraction or division because there, if we change the order, we'd get a different answer. That's different. So only addition and multiplication for commutative and associative. The distributive property has to do with something being multiplied by a quantity that's inside parentheses. Hope this video is helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.